When we talk about astro cameras, we always talk about SIBO, we talk about Altair, TubeTech, and recently Player One. But there's this one brand which creates a little bit of sparkle in the eye like Takahashi, and this is Moravian. Moravian cameras are known for highest quality and reliability, and that's why a lot of professional observatories use Moravian cameras. But today I'm actually really happy and honored to present to you a Moravian camera which is made for amateurs like you and me. And we will do the unboxing right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So before I show you the camera, a little bit about Moravian. Moravian is a Czech company which was actually founded in 1997. So they are around already quite a while. And they mostly cater professional observatories or very advanced amateurs with specialized cameras with large sensors. And for such companies, they're very well known and they are the first choice. So from that point of view, it's no wonder that when it comes to amateurs like us, Moravian never found the need to make extensive marketing. And that's very well visible if you go to their homepage. It looks like a homepage for industrial spare parts. But that does not mean that you or I could not choose instead of, for example, an ASI, a Zeebo camera, a Moravian cameras. They have these cameras with exactly the same sensors as you would find on the Zeebo or the Player One or the TubeTech side. So I decided as I go now mono to go with a Moravian camera. And my reasoning, I will explain you within this video. And as a spoiler, it's not about technical specifications. If we take now an ASI 2600, then the Moravian camera is from a technical specification point of view in no way better. It uses exactly the same chip. It cools down the same number of degrees as the ASI camera. So just by numbers, they're not different in any way. But let's now look at the Moravian and let's compare it. So first of all, the Moravian comes in a suitcase, which already shows kind of the way they want to be perceived absolutely professional. So let's open the suitcase. And that's how it looks in here. So I pre-ordered my Moravian camera together with the filter wheel and it came pre-assembled. And let's for the moment just close the suitcase as this might look utterly stupid otherwise. So we have here the camera and we have here the filter wheel. This here is the Moravian C1X 26000 mono. So it holds the same Sony IMX sensor that also the ASI 2600 uses. So this is an ASPC format sensor with 26 megapixel. Now but where it gets interesting with Moravian you can have when it comes to the C1X model, you can have the sensor in two different versions. You can have the regular sensor, like you would find it in an ASI 2600, or in the pro version, you have an industrial grade sensor. For example, for observatories, where it practically runs 24 seven. Also in the C3 series of Moravian, you can have also the same sensor with a mechanical shutter. So that, for example, you can do dark frames automated. And just for example, a detail. The top of the filter wheel here is sealed with plexiglass and screws. It even says, remove before use. So it's not just a sticker or a cardboard, it's plexiglass. Just to be sure that no dust comes inside. Another thing, this filter wheel has 10 slots because Antlia has now 
LRGBR plus, plus the three narrow bands. So you need now, if you want to use this whole set of Antlia, you need eight slots. And usually wherever you go, the maximum slots on the filter wheel are seven. But with Moravian, you get the 10 slot filter wheel. That's cool. What is also nice, the filter wheel connects directly to the camera. Issue solved. Small cable, everything connected. So with the camera, we have here a USB 3 port and we have here the power port. That's also something interesting here so that the camera stays dehumidified. They have in here a container with silica gel and you can simply screw this out, put the container in the oven so that the silica gel dries again and then just screw it in here again. Very conveniently done. The ventilation for the cooling goes from top to bottom compared to the Zero, where you have it actually at the end. It is also the feel, if you knock on it, you know, it's a common theme, which I said with the Eagle 5, which I said with the Avalon mount. This stuff is just massive. A tank could run over it. It doesn't feel like a tin can. So let's put that for a moment to the side and let's look what else is in the suitcase. So what we also have in the suitcase, which is really nice, is a power brick for the camera, a power cable, and a high quality USB cable to connect it. I also ordered the off-axis guider, which is here, and it has actually the prism separately here. So that also ensures that nothing can happen to the prism. And what's now also nice, if you look at the shape here of the off-axis guider, and when we look now here, you see that if I take this plexiglass away, I can simply slide that in here and it's screwed on with absolutely no space in between. So these are these really, really nice details. And then on the other side here, we have an M48 connector, which then goes to the telescope. So now that we know actually all of this, again, why would I buy this? I think first of all, I really like the, the high quality, which fits now nicely together with my rig. And the high quality is not just, as I stated here, the housing, it's also the fan, where we have heard we see with some issues about vibration. I'm sure there are no issues at all here about vibration. It is also the glass on top of the sensor, which is produced in Germany. And so from that perspective also has highest precision. It is also about the service. Moravian is known for offering very good customer service if there's anything wrong with this camera. But then there's something else. And let me for that get over to my rig. When it comes to this rig, and you saw me build it from the start to now, I had one clear motto in mind, made in Europe. Now that does not apply to the scope and quite honestly, I was looking around, is there a European company who makes affordable scopes? And the answer is no. <laughs> but for the rest, the mount, the Avalon mount is made in Italy. The Eagle is made in Italy. And now we have here the Moravian camera made in Czechia. And not just designed, but this stuff is all made completely in Europe. So why is that important? On one side, it just gives me a feeling of trust. In the same way that I drive a German car, it's just, it's just a different feeling of quality. And I think whoever of you who owns any of these items knows what I'm talking about. You touch it and you realize that it's something different. But from the very tangible part and also visible part, because all of this stuff is really beautiful and that's also a point, it's very nicely designed. But beside all of that, it's also a philosophical question. Where do we want to have our knowledge, our capabilities also for the future? There can be a conscious question, where do I want to buy from? Somewhere close to me or somewhere far away? But so for me, this was just also a sign 
that we can buy close to where we live, that we can hold true to our own values, and actually that what we really get back has also the incentive of being then on the quality level that we expect and that we appreciate. And when we now talk about prices, this camera costs in the same configuration as the Sibo, only about 10% more. And quite honestly, when I look now what I have in my hand, I believe the 10% more are more than justified. And I'm actually, from what I'm just seeing now, I'm really happy about it. Now, as always, there will be a follow-up video once I have filled the filter wheel, once I had my chance to test it out, and then I can also give you the first light and my impression when I have seen it in action. Until then, see you next time and clear skies.